All right, guys, we're going to be doing a complete replacement of furnace and AC here. Um, I'll size the return properly. What we'll do over here with our gas line is to code. Um, we may have to bond the gas line if it's not bonded right now. There's a lot of this track pipe here um, where the insulation was cut off a little short. So we'll have to check on that. Um, everything else looks good on a black iron. There's a shutoff valve in the union there in the corner for us to break it and build it back into the new unit. Our condensate drain line runs from the front of the coil right down to the floor over here. And then this is the humidifier line that comes from the humidifier up on the side of the return. Our flue pipe is code. It's four inch flue. It runs out of the top of the unit and up to our B vent and through the floor. Um, there's a little bit of duct tape on this flue tee over here, so we'll change that out. Um, make sure everything looks like it's just that transition that goes into the flue tee, so we'll change that out and make sure it's uh, nice and tight. Our refrigerant lines are sized properly, so they come out of the front of the coil, up into the ceiling, and then straight across and out the wall right here. Take our return on the other side. There's enough room for us to put a five inch April air filter in there. Um, so if the customer wants to, we can change that out and put a new filter system in there. So he's only got to change it once a year. And then our humidifier, um, it's currently a bi bypass humidifier, so we'll, we'll actually flip it around so it's installed properly with the humidifier on the supply side instead of the return side. Here's our breaker panel. Um, we got a PowerMaster load center. It's by Eaton. There's your catalog number. And then our air conditioner is clearly marked. It's a double 30 amp breaker down here on the bottom. Okay, here's our outdoor condenser. It's a three and a half ton outdoor. Um, what we're gonna do here is um, he'd eventually like to put a stairwell from the deck up there around this corner and back down. Um, that's why the concrete pad has been poured on the ground. So we're gonna take this system and move it over to right here in this area. Um, so potentially gonna need a little bit of rock and dirt. Um, the customer is hoping to pull some of the dirt out from this side of the, um, this side of the landscape here over into the area with the new unit. So um, nonetheless, new um, preformed pad underneath the unit, probably 10 to 12 pavers to make sure everything's nice and level. We're gonna replace the refrigerant lines coming out of the house up here. So new refrigerant lines, we'll run them along the bottom of the siding and then back down the wall. Um, new disconnect box with electrical whip going into the unit. And that should be, that should be it. Here's your model and serial number. And then as far as access goes, you'll be able to bring the equipment down over here on the side of the house and you'll have parking on the street. Um, everything is walkout, so everything can come down uh, the backyard and into the basement.